For far too long, they've been protected from any kind of political consequences by the margins of their ultra-safe seats. But they're not safe any longer. So this election, that's where Get Up's going to. We're going to go into the hard right's factional heartland and we're going after the leaders who for decades have acted with impunity. We're going to hold them to account. So how are we going to take on these hard right factional leaders like Dutton and Abbott? First thing is we're going to focus our efforts. In 2016, Get Up operated in almost 20 electorates. While we had a big, big impact in some electorates, in others we spread ourselves too thin. We're not going to make the same mistake again. This time around, we're going to focus our efforts of our entire national movement of one million members on the electorates of the most important hard right faction leaders. And we put together a plan to turn that collective movement power into a vote shifting machine that can and will turn these men out of power. Where? First up, we've been working Peter Dutton's electorate Dixon in the northern suburbs of Brisbane for a long time now. Late last year, we also started working in Tony Abbott's electorate of Warringah in Sydney's northern beaches. And just tonight, we have launched our campaign against the coal-loving, homophobic and racist Kevin Andrews in the heavily multicultural electorate of Mendy in Melbourne. <laughs> the old attack ads don't work like they used to. <coughs> Having the backing of the Murdoch media isn't what it used to be. People connect and share information in different ways. People pay attention to different things. And whether it's the floods, or the fires, or something else that did it, people everywhere are talking about climate change again, like they did back in 2007. And they're angry, and they're fired up. Are you with them? Yes. yes. And they see our hospital waiting lists growing ever longer while politicians hand over billions and billions of dollars in public money to the coal industry. And they're angry, and they're fired up. Are you with them? Yes. And they see their kids having to work two jobs just to make ends meet, while the 1% takes more and more of our nation's wealth. And they're angry and they're fired up. Are you fired up? Yes. That's why those people who say that we're trying to do the impossible are wrong. Because if we can turn the passion and the anger that's out there, and the passion and the anger that's here in this room into action, then absolutely anything is possible. Ali is going to be back in a minute to step you through exactly how we're going to channel our passion and our anger into action. But before I do, I want you to do something for me.